All right, all right. We're down here at Richard's at Acme this morning. Hadn't looked at these bees in quite some time. Been feeding them. Got done treating them last week. So we're going to see what they're looking like. I looked at one already that uh, I didn't put the camera out for. So, shame on me. But they, uh, I saw the queen and she looked like she was doing good. They look like they're on the build. Got a little bit of honey. And that's super. And uh, a little bit in that one. It might make three quarters of a super between two of them. Full. It's like all these bees are over on the uh, Looks like these are all over on the north side of the hive. So, I have put a pollen feeder up down here. And they seem to be going dip pretty darn hard. There's not a whole lot of bees in here. I think the big dearth they went to through down here slowed them down that other hive I put a, a frame drawn frame in the middle of the brood nest these are all just nectar bit of brood not a real good pattern they must be emerging with our uh, constant breeding and rebreeding and bringing some different queens down here we have calmed these bees down I got just hatched larvas milk brood and in this frame this next one looks like it ought to be the the one to tell me what I need to know the broods hatching out Queens relaying same but like a bunch of them hatched out and a bunch didn't are, are still doing it, but and we've got eggs in this one. I mean, straight up standing up eggs. I am not going down into the low boxes today. Just trying to get this these looked at so they'll be good to go for a while kind of leaving these on their own they got a good amount of brood looks like they're gonna have a pretty healthy population shortly I don't know what the heck they're gonna eat this frames full of pollen so we're gonna stick an empty frame right here in the middle of this See if we can get them to expand a little bit. These aren't uh, these aren't really bragging on hives, but I guess they'll do. All right, we'll be back. All right. Here's the next one. No telling what they're gonna do. Damn, got a broken shim. Gotta hate that. One, 
leg broke off of it. That's a pretty good super right there. It had a fair amount in it. And that one's not, it's got some, but it's not hard to pick up. These bees look like they're in the middle if they're clean right. They should be. A bunch of nectar. They're not clean right there, calm. It's nectar. This is a hatched brood, small larva. It's all eggs and brood, hatch brood. I'm trying to get through these things, it's hot again. It's gonna be in the 90s again today. There's a little bit of cat brood. It's all been relayed. That side's got a good amount of cat brood on it. And some coming to be capped. A little queen cup right there. These bees uh, down here, they like to build queen cups for some reason. And here's a nice frame. I see them other people brag about frames of brood on, on TV, but that's a pretty good frame. Not the best pattern, but hopefully that's something else. But the funny thing is the other side of this is nectar. So there's Nectar in the middle of the brood nest. Now there's a jam up frame of brood. Both sides. It's fixing to be a few more bees in this hive. This one is capped, hatching out. Same uh, pattern. Uh, there's eggs back in the empty holes on that. So this is the best looking brood I've seen yet. This is all eggs. A little bit of pollen in there. This is pollen, full sheets of pollen. Maybe that old queen's down laying in the bottom box, but like I said, it's too blooming hot to, a little festoon in there, maybe they about to build some comb. That's all pollen. Well, this one looks pretty good. They keep acting like this, though. They're going to throw me. I think them ones, uh, I got three left. And I know one of them's probably going to be what you're used to seeing. But anyway, I'll turn it back on in a minute. All right. Here's another one. This one's had a box on it that had a plus on it. So that tells me it was full of honey at one point. It's got a, got a pretty good amount in it right now. It's not jack full though. That one's got a little bit. Tell them what these bees would be like if they were on good flow. Doesn't seem to be a whole bunch of them in there. Might be.
be the problem. And it looks like a pretty good population across. That's a dry hole right there. Sure, I don't see that queen before I set this down. I have a frame hanger I probably ought to use. Well, that's a pretty good start for the second frame in. Pollen with brood. This side's all pollen. Probably going to get not so good towards the other side. There's a good old frame of brood. These bees, evidently between the sugar water and the fake pollen, the ultra bee, they like it. Either that or they're doing I have seen pollen on bees today. But that's two frames in a row of cat brood. You know, like I said, I gave them four weeks of oxalic acid. I did four treatments six days apart. So, I honestly believe every time I do oxalic acid treatment on it, it looks like the bees clean up and looks like they start working good. That's three solid frames of brood. That's a capped out to almost eggs. Yeah. Got eggs on this frame. This this might not be turn out to be too bad. I've got I know the next hive I'm going to look at has got a queen in it I put in a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago, I mean. These right here are brooded. A little back filling right there in that brood nest. Tell you what, I saw the first queen. I saw a queen in the first hive I looked at, and that's the only one that I didn't film but these are looking good I can't complain close them back up there must be some brood in the bottom you know a lot of times requeening some of these it takes a while to to uh get rid of all of the old mean ones but it seems like it might be working all right here we go now this hive i put a queen in two three weeks ago don't remember i guess this will be the third third week they had been trying to make a queen down here and just weren't getting the job done The dang love bugs act like they've settled down a little bit. I did bring some food to feed these today. We got a little bit in that one. Looks like this queen's, uh, or the bees are where I'd like them to be. I'm hoping this behavior is indicative of what's to come because they're not in any kind of flow down here unless they're eating dirt. That one's empty. That one's got a little bit of nectar. 
got a lot of nectar. This one's got a lot of nectar. It's not looking good for the home team. See what happens now. Well, I got some brood. Not a real good pattern. But uh, every hole over here, it's some's capped and some itten and some's drawed out and bigger larva. Here's the queen. She is right there. So she's uh, doing her job, I think. I'm gonna put her back in there. She ain't the biggest one, but as long as she's laying, I'm good. Yeah, I've got down to eggs and larva here hatched. Little cup. I'm gonna stick that empty frame in the middle of this and let them expand a little bit. Because this is egged, but it's got nectar all in it, so they need a little bit more room to, to brood in. If I can find me another empty frame, I'm going to put two of them in there. But I have not done that so far. So it looks like they're just going to get one. Well, once again, they looking good. I'm holding out for this next one to be a pain in the ass. So we'll find out. Well, we'll see if this one lives up to its hype or not. It's uh, hard to say. At one time they were pretty tough bees to be around. Hopefully they have uh, mellowed. Might just be a whole lot of young ones in these guys too. After the dirt took care of the older ones. They're not coming out of there like uh, dive bombers. So that's a good thing. It's not too much nectar in that. Yeah. About to see how they act. Yeah, there's not a super of nectar in these two put together. But they do a good job of keeping it protected. It's a good amount of bees in here. I think this one's gonna be a be good and strong. It's probably why they are a little shy on nectar is they're probably having to feed all of these scoundrels in here. A frame of honey. frame of honey and kind of empty on one side. This one they're back filling with nectar. This one is back filled with nectar. These bees down here seem to like the north side of these boxes for some reason. Another one filled with nectar. I hope there's one filled with brood soon. Yeah, this one's light. Got a got from cap to eggs. 
And on the outside, got sweat in my glasses. Not making it any easier to see. So these pretty much that uh the two before this one or the one two ago, however you want to phrase that, is the strongest looking one. There's nectar in the nest right there. Now there's a really good frame of cap brood. Oh, if you can see it but both sides look like that another good frame of brood I think these are doing good too we've seen some eggs and This is pollen. Yep. I think we're gonna leave these. Uh, this is, you know, about the worst that any flew out at us, which is a big difference from what they used to be. So this does it for my hives down here. I might look in a couple of Richards. I don't think he's fooled with them since before the hurricane. I see the straps are still on his. And I'll bring you back for that if I do that. Wanted to show you, this is a pollen feeder I put up and it's very similar to the, just like the one I did in Island Grove. I actually added another one in Island Grove because there's so many hives. And they've uh, probably can't see up in there. But uh, they've got it eaten down. I'm going to give them some more before I leave today. But they're pretty, pretty on it steady all day. All right, I decided to look at one of Richard's. Only because it's right beside one of mine. So make sure if there's something going on I know what it is I reckon it makes a difference the other ones are 40 yards away yeah these flying monkeys right here I think we're about to have a show There are not very many bees in this hive. There's a frame of honey that doesn't have any critters in it. Huh, sitting looking good. There ain't no bees up in this hive. Well, we're rocking a medium on top here. That could be part of the problem. They might be brooding down below this box. It's nectar. Yeah, there's nothing here got one too many boxes on this this deal we might need to take this bad boy down to a nuke if there's not nothing happening down here We got a little bit of nectar there. Not sure what bees these are. These are some of his. 
some of mine. I know we grew a queen here. We struggled last year to grow one. And he doesn't have his bottoms closed off, so it's really hard for me to treat them good. There's the queen right there. I mean, she's laying. I see eggs in there, but nothing real good. Really? Really not a good brood pattern or not a good bunch of brood in here. That's two or three frames. But you know what they say takes bees to make bees and uh there ain't a whole lot of bees up in here but they are brooding along guess i'm gonna leave them alone tell him he needs to carry a box off of them Well, they ain't dead. Guess that's a good thing. Well, as always, curiosity got the better of me. So, we're going to give these a quick look. They don't look like they're doing anything spectacular. Judging from the number of bees flying in and out of them. Need to hurry this up. I gotta get these fed and run back to town. I'll show you some damn wild ones over there at Carl's. You're drawing a little bit, putting a little bit of stuff up, but nothing to brag on. It's pretty it's pretty much empty. Don't know what he did to this hive, but wasn't didn't help. Whatever. Just a little bit of honey, a little burr comb there. If there's gonna be anything. It's gonna be right here. I don't know why the hell there's short frames in here. But there is. And nectar all around some cat brood. This is one screwed up deal here. Look at this crap. There's some very small brood in there. I hate come. There's the queen. Well, if she'll reemerge, she's right there along that edge coming out. So she looks pretty good. I just don't think she's got anywhere to go. These bees got way too much room. There's a deep frame with some brood on it. So, looks like there might be another one. Thought I smelled something kind of funky. But, uh, yeah, they're going, but they're not more than a good strong nuke. If it was me, I'd uh, give them a little bit less room. But they wasn't bad. I think that's a 
something that was bred out here at Acme. The one uh, we're about to look in, it's a Santa Fe Queen, or a Santa Fe Queen was put in it. Or whatever that means. All right, we'll look in it in just a second. Well, hang on, I think this camera's getting too hot. I went and changed the battery in it. Like I said, it's warm out here. Nice frame of honey. Honey and pollen. Honey and pollen, nectar and pollen and honey. Got some brood. That's laid back. Right. These bees are pretty dang runny for being what they're supposed to be. Yeah. I believe if I was him, I'd rotate these boxes. Well, they got some brood. And I, I like to run my deeps above the mediums and give them a bigger brood area. But these seem to be getting along. These are the worst flying ones I've had today. So there's three or four frames of brood in there. I don't know what's in the bottom. But I'm satisfied that they're, they're alive. So we gonna go from there. We gonna feed them, pollen them a little bit, and then we're gonna take it to uh, Carl's. I'll put you on there. All right, we're back over here at Carl's. We've uh, cleaned the oil pans, cut down some limbs, smoked the bees once, and we're about to open them up, see what's what. I think we're gonna see some flyers over here. I hope not, but that's a pretty good amount of honey in that one. Not so much in that one. Not a ton of bees. So they're either out working, or they don't have a queen. They had a queen. Last time I checked, which was who knows when. We're gonna see what they do. I see pollen on bees, so that's good. That's a good sign. I do see cat brood. These jokers are starting to fly. doubt I'm going to suppress them much, but I probably hands probably smell like that darn. Pretty good frame of brood. Probably smell like that darn chainsaw I was using. I believe there's something in here, but I can't tell. I want to say there is. Looks like eggs fell over, but I'm not sure. Time will tell. Got some larvas. Pretty pretty good long larvas. Pretty good frame of cat brood. 
These are actually a lot better than the last time I was around them. It's not a not a whole lot of bees. I guess since the uh, split, they're going down a little bit. Not a whole lot of eggs. I would have liked to have seen a whole lot more eggs. And I am sweating to beat the band. Much as I hate to do it, I'll have to go down one on this one to satisfy my curiosity. going in these bottom boxes this time of year because usually there's nothing in them but mad bees but we're gonna check well mad bees and brood Oh yeah, yeah, this thing's definitely queen right. She's brooding through the whole thing, so we'll uh, put them back together and get on to the bad one. I'll be back in a minute. All right, this is uh, the second one. These bees over here, we don't ever do anything to them. We don't feed them. We don't do nothing. We're hoping that their uh, new queen is a lot better temperament than their old queen. There's white wax in this super. It's not extremely full. You know, we got 11 gallons of honey out of these two hives this year. Yeah, this one's low in the super. Hopefully, they're starting to do something. They look like they're low on bees, too. Might be why they're acting better. Not a whole lot of bees in here. The food frame. Definitely a food frame, that's all nectar. Now I thought I had checked these and they were queen right here a while back, but I could be wrong. Well, I got a little bit of brood. Again, I can't see eggs. I believe there's eggs in there. There's a lot of... This they... I'm not seeing much larva. But I'm not seeing any queen cells either. They must be more in the bottom box by the way this honey dome is. There's a lot of cat brood. I hope this next one's gonna tell the tale and it isn't backfilled. So it looks like a good one to be brooded on. Yeah, we're still queen right. I got eggs and larvas. Glasses are so dirty I can't see the can't hardly see. I 
I don't think I'm gonna go deep on these. Kind of hoping to see the queen. I haven't ever seen this one. But it's not worth aggravating them. So, I'm gonna put them back together. We're gonna call it good. We got a little more housekeeping to do. Then we're done. So, uh, I'll post this after a while. Bye. This is gonna be that little swarm we caught the other day. I don't hold much hope for it myself. But we propped it up. Gave it a little bit of food and some frame with some bees. And uh, looks like they're drawing queen cells or trying to. They still got their food. It smells good in here. Still got their honey. Ain't a bunch of bugs in here. Got a couple of queen cells. I don't know how they'll ever be viable. Don't know if the bees, the little swarm we put in here, swarm back out. I do have some larvas in here that were possibly young enough to make a queen cell from. I'm looking for that little queen. They could have left here just as fast as we put them in. There weren't very many of them. Or them bees we added to them could have killed her. Like I said, right now I am not seeing that little queen. I got a capped queen cell right there, but it's not a very impressive one. Right now I don't think they're doing too bad. They got a few more bees going to hatch out. I can always put something else in them. But I have never had much luck capturing them little swarms, what I think are after swarms. And uh, getting them to stay or do anything. We had one here that did it. First blush is no queen. We'll look through it again one more time. They're not going to starve to death. But if there's a queen in here, I don't know where she's at. So we'll close them back up and let them do their thing. Maybe next week give them another frame of brood and see what they do. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. 